an example of one of our classic style fish cat eight pontoons whereas down here we have one of our current style ir pontoons the bladders between these are a little bit different but the current style bladders we're producing are designed to retrofit into one of the older style pontoons these are the bladders that have been removed from our two uh, fish cat eight pontoons and i'd like you to see that the one on top is much more angular this is the older style bladder that would be coming out of one of the older style boats. The one on the bottom here is one of our IR bladders that we currently produce. The difference being a little bit more radius, a little more curve to the bladder, and also the valve is situated right on top. So it is a universal design. It can go on a left side or a right side. Okay, this is our starting point. What I've got is my old bladder removed from this pontoon. So it's just opened up. Uh, unzipped, ready to go. This is my new bladder. This is the IR bladder that we were talking about. A couple things to note on this is again the valve is positioned right at the very top of the air cell but really once we put a little bit of air in it so if we can kind of adjust it you'll notice that it is really a, a universal air cell. It's, uh, it doesn't really matter how it was folded before because we can position this at about any kind of rotation and it will fill out. Another thing to notice is that the IR bladders have tip loop uh, holes right here in the very ends. In an older boat, in one of the, the retrofit cases, we don't have to worry about that because we don't have any kind of uh, Velcro or retention in the ends. What I'm going to do now is just start Positioning this, again, with a little bit of air in the bladder helps. And I'm going to kind of get it laid out in relation to my valve hole. I'm just gripping the base of this valve, putting my wrench on it, and unthreading it so I can remove the valve top. I just want to get everything laid out very straight, kind of imagining how this is going to be going into the boat. The first thing I'm going to do is just connect my valve. So I'm going to match these two holes up as best I can. And I'm trying to just kind of see one hole right here. And I'm just going to thread this valve in a few turns so the bladder is going to be held in place. I don't want to torque it down all the way yet. And now I can just start laying my bladder out inside of this pontoon. Now I want you to notice that there is going to be a little bit of extra bladder on either end of the pontoon. These are designed to be a little bit oversized and that's okay as long as they inflate out correctly being a little bit oversized is, is not going to cause any kind of issues in the pontoon. So on each end I'm just going to do a little bit of a roll and I'm going to tuck this into the very end. Now as this bladder inflates out it's going to unroll and kind of stick into, into position. So as long as we've rolled and tucked that into the point here it's going to inflate out correctly and work okay. Again, I'm just laying this out, making sure that we don't have any twists or any kind of compressed spots. Same thing down here, I'm just going to roll this up just a little bit, a couple inches, and tuck it into the very tip. Make sure everything's laid out straight. I can now release all air from the bladder. Now at this point as I'm zipping this closed, I just want to make sure that my bladder stays down inside the boat. Uh, once I've got all this finished up, I want to know that I haven't caught the bladder in the zipper teeth and, and need to patch a hole. Now 
Now that these are zipped together, you can just leave them at one end of the boat. Please make sure to put your split ring back on so you don't have your zippers coming open while in, in operation. Okay, if we inflate this and we notice that there's any issues where it is still having some twisting or any kind of voids, uh, just go ahead and deflate it, open it back up, and we'll make sure that it's, uh, it's not twisted this way in relation to the valve and it's not pushed too far towards one end or the other. Those are our very common causes of, of a little bit of, of issues going on. But uh, might take a, a shot or two, but uh, pretty easy to do. Once you're done and satisfied, put it up on air. Make sure everything looks good and, and you'll be completed. Okay, at this point we've got our bladder correctly installed into this pontoon. We've got our valve tightened and we've also got our split ring back on the zipper. You can see that there's very minimal uh, twisting or, or wrinkling, so we've got all that uh, taken care of and this is done.